Oh, folks, well, I, was, I was talking to a mate of mine, and um, he, he got his eye, his eye on this bird, see, and and apparently she's a bit tasty. Um, but but he says he, he says um, there's this other bloke involved, and he knows that because she's starting to show signs of being pregnant. I said, I said, I said, you understand how all that hell, all that hell works, dear, my old son. He, he says, well, he says, yeah. I well, said, you sure about that, see? So anyway, get, it gets talking you know, as you do. And, and I, 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 I thought, well, there are probably a lot of other people need a bit of an explanation, really. Now, what happens? What happens? Well, how, how's this process work? Now, the lady, when she decides she wants a baby, she puts an order in. Now, now... In, in Britain, what we tend to do is say, if it's a rich person, they's born with a plum in their mouth because of the way they talk, see? That's a mis misunderstanding by the poor people. It's actually a gooseberry in their mouth. Now, the rich people, what can afford to have a nice big garden, they can have their gooseberry bushes. But the poor people, they, they, they tend not to have gooseberry bushes in their garden. So they have to put in an order for, for, for the stork to deliver the baby, see? So, so either way, whether it's a rich lady or, or, or a poor lady, there, there's still this anticipation where they've got this nine-month wait, because there's a nine-month waiting list for a baby. It's, it's been that way for a long time, see? And so while they're waiting... They're getting all a bit nervous, all a bit stressed, see? So that's when they turn to things like chocolate. And of course, they keep eating this chocolate. That's why they get cravings, see? Because they're, they're worried, because they don't know they don't know what's going to appear under the gooseberry bush if, if there's a rich lady, or if there's a poor lady. They don't know what the stork's going to bring them, see? So anyway, they're eating all this, all this chocolate and stuff, right? Now, and, they're, and, and they're getting bigger and bigger and bigger and then of course at the point when the, when the stork delivers a baby or the, or, the, or the lady finds there's a gooseberry bush under, uh, a, a baby under the gooseberry bush then then of course then, and then of course they're a bit relieved and then they they, they want to make themselves pretty again so they go on one of them crash diets that's why they, that's why people say why are all these diets popular why are all these women on all these diets it's obvious, isn't it? When you think about it, when you connect the two, yeah, and and um and and and, and so that so so that's that's that. And then of course people say, well, what was that doctor against um uh, or proposing a tax on chocolate? It's to keep the population down. See, because if the if the ladies can't have something like chocolate to console them while they're waiting, see, um then 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 they might. They might, but not be so keen to have, uh, put an order in for for the stalk or the gooseberry bush for the baby. See, so that's that's um that's that's, that's an explanation. See, because a lot of people don't know. A lot of people have got they they got some funny ideas of where babies come from. I tell you, I was I, I said to my mate, but he, he said, "Cool, he, he he didn't know that. He didn't know that. There's a lot of people who don't know that. See." Anyway, cheers for now.